This is a standing option for hip internal rotation stretch with Pales Rails. First, gonna go through the stretch, how to get set up, make sure that you feel what you need to feel, and then we're gonna move into the Pales Rails or the strength portion of the stretch. So first, the stretch. The, what you're going to need is a chair or some sort of bench, something you can elevate your leg on. The higher the position, the more hip abduction you're going to be, the more we're gonna also tense your adductors. So if you have lots of flexibility issues there, you want this lower. We are going to find a position where you can get your shin kind of vertical. So your heel and your knee are on the chair or the thing that you're using. From here, we're gonna wind into hip internal rotation. So we wanna think about winding because that's the movement that we're trying to get at the hip. So you're actually gonna be moving your pelvis on your femur. So we should kind of think about turning our belt buckle in this direction. As you do that, you should feel a nice deep stretch in your hip capsule, which is going to feel like this deep part of the outside of your glute. You may get a little bit of the front of your hip as well. We are going to avoid feeling any closing angle symptoms in our groin, so make sure that if you feel that, you might play around with the position of your pelvis, the position of your leg, or the height of it, and if you cannot find a position that feels better, then this is not the right stretch for you and we need to find a different position. From here, you're gonna hold that stretch for about two minutes or the prescribed amount of time. Typically that looks like two minutes. Once that's up, we are going to perform Pales Rails. Pales is going to be stretching or contracting the stuff that was stretching. So for this exercise, that is going to look like thinking about a scale under your ankle and trying to make the scale weigh more. So you're driving that ankle down. The movement you are thinking about is actually this movement, but because it's an isometric, which is the eye in Pales Rails, we are not moving, so I want you to really contract, slowly ramp that intensity up, and feel like we are rotating our thigh this direction. You should feel a little bit less stretch as you do that. Ramp up to the desired intensity, hold for 20 to 30 seconds, ramp down from there, relax, that was your pales contraction. Rails contraction is now going to look like the opposite. We are going to contract the stuff that is going to pull us into a deeper stretch. So that is going to be hip internal rotation stuff. That's gonna be some of this hip stuff here in the front lateral side. So you're thinking about lifting the heel up like this type of motion here, but because we are in our end ranges, nothing's going to happen. If anything, we are actually gonna pull ourselves into a slightly deeper stretch. So you're thinking about lifting the ankle, rotating slightly deeper into that stretch, avoiding any closing angle symptoms, working through a little bit of cramping but not pushing too much where it's intolerable. You're gonna ramp up to the desired intensity for a rails, then we're gonna hold that for 20 to 30 seconds. Remember, we should not feel pinching or closing angle stuff. Please don't push into that. That is going to finish with, or that is going to finish out one set of Pales Rails with your stretch. You may want to add in additional sets as we progress, but to start, we always wanna start with just one.